Okay, here in front of me, right? If, as you can see right there, it's a document you must know. And if you look at number two, number two says, the United States Republic Department of Justice, Moorish American Credentials, AA 222-141, Truth, A1. Now, for the Moorish Americans or everybody that knows about this number and what it consists of, I'm not going to lie, right? It's nice. It's a beautiful thing. Um, supposed to be, uh, um, it actually is a tax exempt number. And if, when you break this down, the numbers and the layout of how it's written, if you read a section called Title 22, Chapter 2, Section 141, you can go on Cornell Law School and it will break down the meaning of what this means. And basically, it talks about relinquishing the jurisdiction of the United States. Because the United States is claiming to have jurisdiction over us as the people. Um, and it's supposed to was took into court and relinquished. Now, the thing about this is, it's a tax exempt number. I have used it before. And um, it does work. You just have to stand on it and um, understand your rights as people. But, but the problem come into play is that I understand that, you know, the quote unquote land was took in and the United States is a corporation, um, which is talked about in 28 USC 3002, section 15, that clearly tells you that the United States is a corporation. So how is it a landmass that we live on when it's a corporation? And how are we a part of that corporation? So I get all that. I do. I get it. But in the same token, if we all supposed to be coming together, we are supposed to be united and we are, are fighting the same fight. Why is this number only recommended for Moorish Americans? That's where the red flag comes into play at when it comes to this number. I feel like nobody should be paying taxes. We all pay taxes as a whole. Why should this number only be used for most Americans? That's why I feel that the red flag comes into play at. And I understand that some most Americans may even be mad at me for making this video or putting this out there, but you have to ask that question. If we are trying to come together, we are trying to live a peaceful life, have freedom and justice for all. Why is this number only considered 
for most Americans. You have to ask yourself that. So when I'm filling out contracts or W-4s, W-2s, whatever, to work for a job, how come this is this number is only recommended for the quote-unquote black people? Why can't Indians use it? Why can't Europeans use it? Why only Moorish Americans? Why white people can't use it? That's what I don't understand when we all are fighting the same fight with a government just trying to dictate, run the world, put out all these bills, executive orders, and all these laws that we have to oblige by that they get us the contract on that we're not thoroughly reading and getting an understanding of how we are compromising ourselves and subjecting and obligating ourselves to certain things. Because that's where all these problems come into play at. But I just feel like we all fighting the same fight. You pay all these taxes a year. If you're working for a job, they take state and federal taxes out your paycheck every week or every two weeks. However often you get paid, it's being taken out. And then at the end of the year, they claim you make too much and you owe this big lump sum. How if I've been paying it every week or every two weeks out of my paycheck. How do I owe? You got to ask yourself these questions, people. And not only do you have to ask yourself these questions, you have to challenge it as well. Because if not, you just continue to fall victim to the system and they're just going to keep being the same redundant cycle that just keeps occurring and happening. But this number is supposed to be used when you're filling out a contract and um, instead of picking U.S. citizen, you're supposed to pick alien and then you're supposed to provide them with this quote-unquote tax exempt number right here. But the thing of it is, is like I said, we all in the same fight, so. And not only this, why do we have to get identified? Think about this too. If you free, a free American, why are you identified by a number? To me, that's inhumane. If I have to be categorized, looked upon as a number, like I'm some type of product, document, or I'm for sale, and I come with a number. That doesn't make sense to me. Why do you have to have a tax exempt number or just any identifying number as a human being? It doesn't make sense. And the reason for that is because simply because they're taking they're taking us as people and contracting us. And what we're failing to realize is they holding us to these obligations that we're signing for, not thoroughly reading, not knowingly having an idea or knowingly what's going on or knowingly what we're contracting to do not reading fine print, not just reading in general. We're being used as chattel. And they're using terminologies like black, Indian, white. I think another one called Pacific Islander. All these different terminologies is trickery. It's a slick, unique way of calling you a sleeve 
And what I mean by slave is not slavery like back in the day, how they're showing on movies and TVs with us getting whipped with whips. But they're attacking our minds mentally. And we are a slave to their contract. We slaves to their contracts. We're slaves to their systems. Because we're not reading. There's a quote out there that says, my people are suffering for a lack of knowledge. That is very, very, very true. And because of that, we're falling victim to all these contracts in this system. Categorizing yourself as black, United States citizens, all these different things. We're none of these things. We're not Moorish American. We're not European. We're none of these things. We're all here. We're all technically our spiritual beings having a human experience. That's it. But when you're being categorized as thing and getting credential numbers, you have to ask yourself, why am I attached to a number? That don't sound like slavery to you. Why should I be attached to a number? It makes zero sense. But um, this is just one thing that I wanted to point out and show you all the trickery that's being played on us and um, how we are slaves to the system. And you are a slave when you're not using your mind, you can't think for yourself. You're not reading, you're not trying to learn, you're not trying to further educate yourself. And this is the results of that. But um, you can check this out and read it. Again, it's called Title 22, Chapter 2, Section 141. And when you go to Cornell Law School, when you pull it up, um, when you get for, to the one for one section, you're going to have to click on the sidebar that says notes. So, and it'll give you um, the meaning of it so you can read and see what's going on with it. But it's basically about diminishing the United States from having that power over us as people but um like i said they only using it to a specific category of people which is allegedly supposed to be the most americans but like i said we all fighting the same fight and i just wanted to point that out there put that out there for the people another quick little educational fact Yeah. So there you have it. I'm out. Peace.